DICE is a database in which we characterize how the gene expression profile in different immune cells, both from the adaptive immune system and the innate immune system, differs in individuals that have different genetic background. One of the components we've been working on is making this publicly accessible website where anybody can go type in a gene, type in a genetic polymorphism that they're interested in, or typing a disease that they study, and then getting results immediately on how the different immune cell types that we've studied are impacted by these different factors. My name is Benjamin Schmiedel. I'm working in the Vichanand lab of the La Jolla Institute for Immunology. So we collect the blood samples from about 100 donors and we isolate it by fact sorting um, 15 cell types of each donor, ending up with 1,500 samples. That was actually one of the surprises that most of the differences we see between individuals are very stable when they come back half a year later. So it is not so much what you had for breakfast that impacts how your immune system works, but it is really driven by genetic factors and then the history of immune exposures that, that makes different people respond differently to immune stimuli. The genomics revolution has told us a lot about lots of genes and all kinds of diseases. What we lack is a dictionary of how these genes are turned on in different cell types. So DICE will give a dictionary. Every time you have an interesting gene, you can go in and ask what type of immune cell is expressing this gene. Second is, among people, there's a lot of changes in our DNA sequence. We have about 3 billion letters. About 1 in 500 is different among different people. So you have several million bases that are different among people. And these are called as genetic variants. People hadn't appreciated that these genetic variants would have a profound effect on gene expression in immune cells. So what DICE will tell you is, if you have a common genetic variant that's linked to a disease, DICE can tell you what is the gene that's affected and what's the cell type that's affected. We've studied every potential disease here and we'll be able to address it. People working on Alzheimer's or cancer could look into our database and find out what are the key genetic players in cancer, what are the cell types, what are the genes affected, they can pull all this out.